Hey guys, I recently purchased this lovely shirt on eBay. I really just fell in love with the designs and the sleeves are just amazing. I just love all this little, little detail on, on the sleeves. I thought it was just fantastic. The only thing wrong was the neckline and the seller was really upfront about it. They gave me some pictures and showed me that the neckline was really the only thing that was wrong with it. But I loved the rest of it so well. I decided to go ahead and, and purchase it and then figure out how I was going to fix the neckline. And what I decided to do was to do a ruffle around the neckline. So I'm using this fabric that I found in the thrift store. It's very thin and it frays really easy as you can see. Pretty much the minute you cut it, it just starts fraying. But I thought it would do very well as a ruffle. So this is um, three inches wide and it's 85 inches long. And the neckline itself is about 30 inches. So I'm betting that a few, a few extra inches are probably re required. So first off, what I did is I ironed it in half and just to make it easy. So then I'm going to fold both sides and iron it again. So here is my second, second ironing job. I ironed both sides and this is just going to make it really easy just so I can fold it down and, and stitch it up. So I'm not a big fan of ironing, but sometimes it's a big time saver. So, and you, you can see it's got some fraying on the, on the ends that we just have to be mindful of. So again, I'm just going to be folding it down and just so I don't have to deal with the, the frayed edges, I'm just going to fold them down just to get them out of the way. And I'm using these little clips. These are little, little plastic clips that I found on Amazon. And I'm just a big fan of them. Ever since I got them, I use them wherever I can. And they're just so much easier to, to deal with than, than the straight pins. What I'm using is just a, a single strand um, of thread here. So I didn't, I didn't cut off the, the thread. I just kind of left it attached to the spool. And that's so I can just continue to use it in one long strand and um, I don't have to measure or <laughs> run out of thread. So this is the part where we're going to be gathering up the, the fabric and we're just going to be doing a very loose basting stitch. We will just keep doing this very loose basting stitch um, for all of the 85 inches. Thank you. 
And if you've run into a snag, just give it a little bit of a pull and it, it should just come loose for you. So here is all of the gathered fabric. What we're going to do is just a, a stitch to, to adhere the, um, the gather to the fabric. And first what I'm doing is um, getting some straight pins just to get it in, in place. Um, and this will this is, will also be a little bit of a, a test to see how much um, gathered fabric I actually have, just to make sure it's going to go all the way around. And now I've got the pins all in there and there's a little bit extra fabric. So that is just perfect. And the kind of stitch that you use really does not matter. You know, you're going to have so much gathered material um, that it's going to cover up whatever stitch that you, that you plan to do. So just make sure you're you're sticking your needles through both the gathered um, and the and the original neckline there. And it's just going to be pretty much an invisible, just because there's so much there's so much gathered fabric. So um, this is a really really good project if you're a if you're a beginner and you're feeling a little bit uncertain about your your stitching and how it looks so this will be some stitching that only you are going to see so so the pressure is really really off you to do a, a fabulously perfect little stitch so And just be sure all the all the knots come come through, and that it's a, a good a good sturdy stitch. You don't want a loose stitch because it's gonna because um, of all the gathered fabric. You're gonna want it to to be really really snug to the to the shirt itself.
and this is the ends of the of the gathered fabric so what I did is I just I just cut them cut the extra off and I'm just folding down the the material And again, there's just so much gathered material that nobody is even going to going to see your your stitches here. So this is really the the beauty of working with a gathered material with so many layers is you can make mistakes and it doesn't have to be the most perfect stitching ever because all of those gathered layers are are just going to be anything it's gonna that's what people are going to see <laughs> they're not going to see your little little stitching behind the scenes at all And here is the finished ruffled collar. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I don't see any of the frayed edges from the original shirt at all. So I'm really happy with how this looks. And I just want to thank you everybody for watching. And I hope you have a great day.